Hey, travelers, another week, and it's a week unlike most other weeks. Oh, yeah. For two reasons. Troy's here, so there's that. The The second one, we decided to do uh, alcohol-free beers. Yeah. Now, it's not exactly dry January. What? Yeah. Well, I mean, there's sober October, there's dry January, a lot of people do it for Lent. So yeah. there's really no no bad time to do it, but I do, right. f- do find most of this kind of stuff happens in winter. Yeah, and we are. We're I in mean, winter. we're we're in winter. I, it's winter. Uh, Wisconsin's always in winter, <laughs> really. I think even even when you can smell summer, we're pretty much still in winter. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we if this was uh, Game of Thrones, we would definitely be in Winterfell. Winter's always coming. It's just constantly yeah. coming. Yeah. July, winter's coming. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> then there's always some poophead who wants to do like Christmas in July, and it's like we already got Christmas in winter. I mean, I don't object to that, but I love Christmas. I just I don't want the reminder of winter during my summer. Yeah, I don't think about that. Uh, that's all yeah. I think about. It's like, oh yeah, let's think about cold things. Yeah. Uh anyway, hot passport. We'll talk about hot passport. There was no good way to transition. Hot yes. passport is good in the winter, by the way. Yeah, I mean, and the summer. Don't drink without it. Summer, the winter, don't drink without it. Uh, the Wisconsin one's got all kinds of pass- passport places in there. Good for two for ones. We uh, we recently went to McFleshman's over in. Was it uh, actually, is it McFleshman's? Is that yeah, how you pronounce it? McFleshman's. Yeah. It's it's a combination of names of last names. Yeah. Yeah. The word flesh <clears throat> in anything, I find off putting to a certain degree. But I, right. I've been told by numerous people it's a fantastic <laughs> brewery. It is. Yeah. It is a fantastic. It's it's a great place. Yeah. Yeah. There's a there's a taco place across the way that smells really good. I didn't Sold. have any, but uh, tacos. It's beer. like Mr. Tacos or something like uh, that. Yes, of course. Yeah, I love a good sketchy taco with my beer. And I oh yeah, and, and this place is as sketchy yeah. as it gets, but I bet it's delicious. Oh yeah, no, no yeah. that's that's where you get that. You bet that zing. Yeah, that zap. It's the good stuff. Yeah. Should we dive into some NA beers? Oh though? man, you know it. That's. <laughs> So we uh, before we started tonight, Troy actually brought uh, because because we're not doing dry January or dry February or March or April or May or June or any of those months. So we're actually drinking alcohol beer too. We're doing this for you guys. <laughs> we're doing this for you at home. The the one of you. This this is educational purely. Well, I mean, you never know. In in one's drinking lifetime, you periodically take breaks. In this, uh, you know, that break. I my- just don't drink that day. It's usually just water. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I live in moderation across the board, so I never well, want yeah. to. Yeah. But, you know, teach their own. Yeah. And some folks do do take, spe- like my in-laws and my uh, my brother and sister-in-law are constantly taking months off throughout the year. So this might hopefully be a helpful guide to deciding on an N.A. beer. So that way, you can- and N.A. products are popping up. I've seen N.A. spirits. Uh, a lot of N.A. bars have been opening up, like yeah. bars that yeah. are making more expensive drinks but right. without alcohol. Yeah. I'm sure it's got saffron or something ridiculous like that in there. A bunch of sugar. <laughs> I hope you like sugar. Give up give up the alcohol, get diabetes. Mm-hmm. Yep. Trade in that. Trade it in for the Wilfred Brimley That's disease. Right. I was trying to think of an alcoholic that I could take. Trade out that disease for the Wilfred Brimley, but I couldn't think of an alcoholic at the time. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, this one's from Lagunitas. Yep. Lagunitas, the hop refresher. So hop water. Yeah, so this yeah. one's a little different, you know, uh, than most NA beers because most NA beers are actually made with a malt, and like the 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 four ingredients this necessarily right. isn't. They cut out the malt, which is where you get the sugar. When that's the sugar that the yeast converts and makes alcohol, so you cut out that malt, you cut out the sugar. Uh, they still put yeast in this beer because they said the yeast activates the hops for a certain flavor profile. Okay, and there's about five or six different kinds of hops in here, so it's a real bouquet. Uh, it's relatively clear. I'd say just a hint of like greenish. It's more or less water. Yeah. Oh, big nose though. Not bad. I would say mango. Yeah. It's a lot of mango. Maybe a little lime. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tropical fruits all over the place. Nice and bubbly. It's uh yeah, it's fizzy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean you could just drink this. This isn't bad at all. Is Does it, it taste hoppy at all? I mean, that's what it's, that... It's really more on the nose than I think anything. Really? I'd say, I mean, there's a little bit of hops in the taste, but... I mean, this... I mean, this... You couldn't... I mean, 
you could easily not consider this an NA beer and just have this be like a hop seltzer water that right. you drink while in the middle of your work day. Yeah. You might get a weird look from one or two people, but well, you know, no it, it really caring. it really depends yeah. It really depends on where you work. You know, like where I work, nobody would know what the heck Lagunitas is. Yeah, yeah. Old people don't know yeah, what Lagunitas no, they, is. Yeah. You'd probably get somebody stealing it from you. <laughs> if I drank this at work, I'd be like, why don't you just have a real Lagunitas? Right? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? What's the matter with you? Are you okay? Jeez. I didn't realize you were pregnant. <laughs> Again. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it tastes like mango, and that's that hot flavor, Alex, to answer your question from a second ago. A lot of that mangoey passion fruit, tropical fruit flavors all just You're like, not you're not getting like a lot of long lasting flavors. It's it's not really staying. You're for definitely very long. not getting the hop bitterness. <clears throat> no. It's all no, 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 fruit, no. no bitter. There's no pine, resin, no floral. It's right. just tropical fruit and water. This is essentially a seltzer. I, I mean it's a seltzer. Yeah. yeah. It's tasty. I yeah, like it. It's yeah. good. Lagunitas was doing seltzer before seltzer was cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's not even hard. No. Oh, yeah. I'm sure they'll be eventually. Yeah, well, hop water with alcohol now. What? When alcohol's cool again. I'm going to have, a, I, I'm really excited to have a hop and malt water or just a beer. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's, yeah. that's what beer is. <laughs> is that what it is? No kidding. So this, this one's imported from Germany, even. So, uh, yeah. The next, the next two are German beers. So uh, I don't, and I, I've been to Germany. That doesn't mean I know a lot about it. Yeah, I Ger- just know Germans like to drink. Germany has a rich culture of NA beers. Yeah, and th- so this is for all you at home. This is the Klaus Tower Dry Hop. They also make a regular. Yep. Um, and Germany has this really rich tradition of a lot of NA beers. Most breweries make an NA beer, so there is a ton of imports to be had from Germany. There's a lot more vibrant culture. That's you know, women will drink when they're pregnant. It's just like because beer is such a beverage of their everyday life that it'd be like saying like, oh, you can't have you know milk anymore. You can't have soda anymore. Right. You know, right. So. Yeah, they want more NA beer over there, and I think that's a trend that's definitely going to be hitting the United States probably in the next year or two. You're going to see a lot more craft. There's already a place in the cities. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I know what it's called, but me neither. Neat. So, in order to make an NA beer, you simply make a beer, and then you boil it, apparently, at 175 degrees, and that takes the alcohol out, and then you have to repitch that, and then somehow that ferments. I read it, but it didn't. That sounds... It's more complicated than you think, and they get truly 0% alcohol is apparently incredibly difficult. Right. I was going to say most NA beers have have just just a a little bit of alcohol in it, yeah. Because that yeast, unlike the hop refresher, that yeast does have something to eat. Yeah. So... This is a pretty actually educational episode, if I do say so myself. Ooh, that is sweet. Yeah, it's like uh, it's like hams mixed with tea and some extra water, and and maybe some extra sugar that didn't ferment. I would say this is one of the better NA beers because the dry how because the the sweetness you're getting is uh, essentially the sugars that the yeast has not eaten, right? So that that's gonna have more residual sugar than your average beer. And it tastes the, tastes like sweet tea. Yeah, it almost mixed has, with beer. <laughs> yeah, and I hate sweet tea. <laughs> Landon is not a southerner. Anyway. I am not a. I've no. I you know I can I can talk. I can speak their language. But uh, as soon as that sweet tea pitcher gets pulled out of the fridge, you're like, oh, well, just hold just on there. One glass for us. You have, we just need one. Do you have anything without the sugar in it? <laughs> Would you prefer a regular tea? Yeah, I, li- I like regular tea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll do a regular yeah. tea. Yeah, I'm I'm what you would call a plain guy. You know, coffee, just give it to me black. black. I just I don't want any crap in it. I, just I give got me a coffee black from coffee. Dunkin' Donuts, and they put some creamer in it yeah and i'm like whoa, whoa. you throw it back at him but guy, what is this is this <laughs> just pure sugar you put in here yeah i want coffee not a slushy yeah just give me coffee coffee i'm a man give it to me i've been drinking coffee stouts for a decade i can handle yeah. your your weak ass coffee my coffee usually has 10 percent alcohol in it right <laughs> <laughs> i mean yeah that one's different that's a beer and it's na so it yeah, 
Good talk. All, all <laughs> accurate descriptors. That is very that is very accurate. You know what I like about this next one is that it says alcohol fry on the back, so free of alcohol. It's German, yes. Bitburger. I had a lot of Bitburger when I was over in Germany. Yeah, this is Bitburger Drive, which so you can drive. You can drive. You can drive and drink this Bitburger. Let's yeah. hope it doesn't taste like Southern sweet tea. <laughs> What is the German version of Southern Sweet Tea? Is that just beer? I think so. So if yeah, we're lucky, I, this will taste like German Southern. I don't Southern's. know that they drink. <laughs> I don't know that they there drink There we go. Tea. Our Sweet Tea, it's, yeah. it's beer. <laughs> it's beer. <laughs> what, do you want for, what do you want for afternoon tea? Beer. beer. Yeah. It's always my answer. <laughs> this one you don't get a lot on the nose. It's very clear, too. Yeah. It's very crisp. Not a lot of bubbles. I'm it's gonna, uh, it's I'm, not sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and say that's actually pretty tasty that's for an a beer. Yeah, yeah. It still gives you that beer flavor without any like it's not. There's no thrills to it. Well, and really, I think if you're but, if you're gonna drink any beer, you're just looking for a beer. beer yeah. You want you want something that tastes like a beer. You just don't want the alcohol in it. No, for sure, for sure. But that tastes more or less like uh, like beer. Yeah, that's that's the closest we've gotten so yeah. far. Yeah, I think we've had quite a, the menagerie of flavors here for all NA products. Yeah. Well, also worth the word menagerie. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know whether you used it right or not, but well, I think I did. Yeah. My kid was watching Aladdin before I came, and I'm like, the guy was like, "It's a real uh, menagerie." And I was yeah. like, "Yeah." Let's see if I can't. I'm work. gonna I'm gonna see if I can work that into the vlog and I. Gonna... <laughs> it's also a good Star Trek episode. A menagerie two parter. Oh, oh, so the second one is Menagerie Toi? <laughs> I think it's just part two. <laughs> also, uh, like, uh, I've never seen an episode of Star Trek, so. Not even The Next Generation? No, oh, none of them. Oh, I watched out. one of the movies. Well, then that, that means you can't watch Picard. With the pine. Chris Pine, yeah. Chris Pine. Yeah. The, the Chris that's not in the Avengers. Yeah. Yeah. So you had some JJ verse? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of a lot of light flares. I remember that lens flares. Yes, lens yes, flares. Yes. I remember um, Leonard Nimoy flying around. It was a fun movie. It was a fun oh, movie. Yeah. It was good. It was good. Yeah, you should watch some you Star Trek that, too. You should watch Next Generation. And Next, I did generation. see the one with the, the Con with Ben Cumberbatch playing Con. I did see that. And so those are two separate movies. Gotcha. Well, you should see the original Con and see Star Trek Two. I saw the costume of the guy from the original Con, and he looked ridiculous. Well, it was the eighties. <laughs> I think that's the fun part of Star Trek, because yeah. everybody and looks ridiculous. That one came out the year I was born, Troy. Which one? The Wrath of Khan? Yeah. Oh. Alex, been... Alex is old. 1982? Yeah, yeah, a lot of good movies came out that year. Look it up. <laughs> look it up. <laughs> go, or... to the, go to the Googles. Look it up. Find out. I only use Yahoo. <laughs> you won't find anything there. There's, there's no way. Yeah. You know what all these NA beers really made me want? A beer? Yeah. Yeah. Especially that middle one. I could have used a nice beer chaser. Yeah, can, I get a, can I get a beer <laughs> chaser for my NA beer? <laughs> well, as, as, as I started making the joke earlier, the beginning of Bad News Bears yeah. uh, with Billy Bob, it's him pouring out a half of an NA beer and pouring vodka into it. <laughs> <laughs> See, I didn't. I didn't see that one. I, I only saw the one with Malt, Walter Matthau. So. Yeah, yeah, no, that one, yeah. Don't get me wrong, Walter Matthau is pretty awesome, but Billy yeah. Bob Thornton just. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, he he takes it up a notch. Yeah. Yeah. It's a completely different movie with him. So yeah. Well, that was that was NA beers. Yeah. So uh, you I know, would say you know there's more choices now than there's ever been. So if you're deciding to take some time off. Uh, you know, in your local area, there might even be more choices than we have. So feel free if you if you know of a great NA beer in your region that maybe not be everywhere else, throw in the comments. It might help someone out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or if you think we're off on these, or you found something good, or whatever, talk to us about it. Rip Troy, you know, whatever you want to do. Uh, so before we before we get into headlines, uh, you'll notice in at some point whenever we get it up. So we we did our first. Event at mm. the Pablo Center. Yeah, that was fun with Surly Brewing. 
And so we, we'll, we'll have the video for that. I think we're, what we're going to do is one of these Sundays, we'll end up posting it on a Sunday because yeah. obviously it's a little longer. Yep, yep. So Sunday's a good day. You know, if you want to take a nap <laughs> while you're watching it and then wake up, catch a little more, take a nap again. It's like watching NASCAR. I you know? would say, you know, it's it's more of what we're doing here. We're sampling beers. We're, we're diving deeper into the beers from a brewery, kind of doing a brewery deep dive. There's a lot of good industry talks. So if you're interested in knowing more just about like how the, oh, the world... Oh, I didn't, I didn't mean to sell it short. There is oh, a lot of good yeah. information in there. You know, oh, yeah. you doze off when you're... A few jokes. You're... Yeah. 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 Get the whole family together and watch it. Be like, hey, guys... I'm gonna you know, I don't. I don't think for the. I think for the first time, maybe you didn't swear, or maybe you only swore once. Yeah, yeah. I was really on top of my game. You were. Yeah. It was twice. Troy only swore twice in an hour, in an and, hour a half. and a half. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Gosh I, darn I'll it! Give it I, gosh darn it! Hmm. I, by golly! I, yeah. So you could you couldn't get the whole family together and watch it. Yeah. So we'll have that on YouTube. Um, you'll notice that. And then, of course, we have all of the the other events coming up. So at the end of February here, we still got four more. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we still have. I think we still have a few tickets, not many. So Founders is coming up at the end of February. If you want to get on that, even if you don't want to come to the actual event, you can still go to the after party. Yeah, that'll be that a livery. A livery yeah, we'll, have a, yeah. we'll do a tap takeover. We'll probably try to see if they'll do a food special or something. Yeah. So that should be a good time. Yeah, we get we get hungry. Technical difficulties right now, folks. We had a camera go on the fritz. Oh, battery. Battery's dead. Are we recording anything? Oh, well, oh. we can we can talk through this. You got some That's headlines, fine. don't you? Yeah. Yeah. I've, actually, I've got some, uh, some great headlines because uh, a couple of them are about animals and then another one's, you know, mostly about beer. Great. So um, this man attempts to register beer as a support animal. <laughs> yeah can you believe that it's not the dumbest thing i've ever heard oh, well i mean i mean you know there's you know there's na beer and then there's going to the entirely other extreme where you register your beer as a support animal i think there's a, a quote that exists out there that beer or alcohol is the cause of many life's problems and also the solution yeah so i feel like this yeah. guy probably is riding that category pretty hard right <laughs> 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 I didn't read the rest of the story, but that's that was the headline. So this this other one, I just uh, saw a follow up for it. So I've had this one for a while. So brewery features adoptable dogs on beer cans to help them find homes. Mm. Now here's the update to it. There's someone who lost their dog like three years ago. Found it. Found it on a beer can. So maybe we should start doing that again. <laughs> this this person was from Minnesota. Their dog wound up in Florida. <sighs> yeah. What? We should start putting more uh, adoptable dogs on oh, beer geez. cans. Maybe yeah. missing children on beer cans? Yeah. Well, well, they used to do it with milk. Yeah. So why can't you do what's, it with what's beer? What's putting on some people? When's the last time we had a milk carton? Right. When's the last time we had a beer can? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we could start doing it on beer because, cans. You never kids know. Are st- I mean, kids, are drink- kids drink on a milk carton. <clears throat> know who's not noticing things? Kids. Kids. Know who would notice? Yeah. Yeah. Adults. Yeah. Big. The adults that drink beer. Yeah. As long as they haven't had too many of those, then they aren't going to notice much. That's an industry. I think we just want to I, I, I think we could... We we, could. This is like a non-profit type of nonsense we could get started here. It'd be pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we could if also it, save some kids, which would it, be cool. Yeah, well, that's, I mean, I mean, if it works for dogs, it can work for people. Yeah. I'm just saying. I lost a coat a few years ago. Well, you could put your coat on a beer can. Find that one. I like that coat. Yeah. Uh, so so the last one is is simply lager. It's cool again. Is it though? I mean, I'd like to think it is. I but I don't as, I don't actually know. As soon as I sell enough log I, as a guy who who's been professionally selling loggers for a while. Yeah. As soon as I actually sell more than just like a yeah, they could go another week, then I'll maybe start agreeing with that. You know what but. the problem is? Millennials. I don't know if that is a problem. I, I I have no idea who. Every brewery is convinced that there's going to be a logger kick coming up, so everyone's making loggers, and I don't. Maybe know they're any, trying to force it, force the trend. Yeah, and yeah. I don't know anyone who's asking for them. <clears throat> Man, that may just be us here in Western Wisconsin, or just like. Bang. I mean, I am. Beth over there is. Uh, well, but you're, you're, you're in luck now. It's two, everywhere. Two people. 
That's two. <laughs> I've also noticed a reinsurgent of a lot of breweries doing amber ales again. Yeah, I noticed that too. Coming, coming yeah. around to more... Uh, brown ales? Uh, I've noticed those again. I love brown ales. I do too, but I was wondering where the heck they, they, those, those came Watch from. these 95 episodes, at least 12 of those. I'm like, brown ales. Yeah. Love them. Yeah. Yeah. I said it twice in this episode. You so. know what we noticed at McFleshman's? What? Smoked. Oh, yeah? Smoked beers. I haven't heard of a smoked beer in a while. I know. It was great. We should start a brewery that just makes old trends. <laughs> All of the beers that you can't get anywhere yeah. else. Nothing's double dry Me- hopped here. Remember when black IPAs were a thing? We Doing still it. do. Doing it. <laughs> we still make a pumpkin ear beer year round. Ha. Huh. How do you like that? I do you, you like them gourds? <laughs> That's what we can call the brewery. How do you like them gourds? Yeah. Let's call it gourds. Let's just go with... Like, what's the most... Not gourdies, unattra- but gourds. Yeah, let's just go with unattractive male names for all of our beers. <laughs> this one's, I'm in. This one's the Keith. If you want to participate, <laughs> join on in. Now, don't worry. Keith doesn't watch this yeah. episode anyway. That's actually an inside joke between me and him as well. Yeah, nice. So anyway, uh, if you haven't already done so, you should check us out on all of the social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, right here on YouTube, if you're watching us on YouTube anyway, and then make sure you click the bell. Thank you, Alex. And then uh, make sure you share us with your friends, because it's it's nice to do. Share it with your friends over a nice can of Earl. Yeah, yeah. Earl. Yeah. It's unattractive male names. It's all Melvin. <laughs> Melvin. <laughs> So anyway, from all of us here at Taproom no Travelers, word. we promise that we won't have non-alcoholic beers and maybe the conversations will go better the next maybe day. Maybe we won't be trying to name beers after a guy named Millard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, until next time, prost. By now, you've probably figured out that we like visiting different breweries and we've been pretty vocal about one of our favorite travel companions, Hot Passport. When you visit any of the breweries highlighted inside, You either get two for one pints or buy one, get one. That means you only have to visit a fraction of the breweries we do to get your money's worth. Visit HotPassport.com to get one featuring your state today. Hot Passport. Don't drink without yours. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, you can click down below where there's some more episodes for you to watch. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on episodes that you do watch. We hope to see you next time.